welcome everyone in this video i'm going to show you a trick with which you can find a cube of any number now students before i actually begin with my video i would like to thank all of you all for all your likes subscribes to my channel in case you're new to my channel then you can hit the subscribe button which is given down below and also you can hit the bell button which will notify you whenever i publish a new video also like I have mentioned in my previous videos, you can get any of these tricks from a book named as Vedic Maths for All Ages, the link of which is given below in the description. As well as students, if you want to make your own YouTube channel, then the link for all the equipments which I use to make these videos are also given in the description. So now let us begin with our video. So now students, in order to find the cube of any number, you need to remember the cubes of 1 to 10. After knowing all these cubes only you will be able to use this trick. Let us first try to find the cube of 13. Students in order to find the cube of 13 your answer gets divided into four parts. The first part will be cube of the first number over here. Therefore cube of 1 is 1. And the last part will be the cube of the last number. So cube of 3 that is 3 cube is equals to 27. Now students, in order to find the middle two parts, we need to multiply all the numbers given over here. So 1 into 3 gets us 3 and 3 into 3 gets us 9. And students, this number 9 is the common multiple for both of these two parts. Now to find the second part, we will multiply 9 with the first number that is 9 into 1 again gets us 9. And to find the next part, we will multiply with the last number. So 9 into 3 gets us 27. Now students, to write down my final answer, we will just concentrate on the units place. So over here, we will just write down 7 and 2 which is left over gets added to 27. So that gets us 29. So now my units place is, has become 9 and 2 which is left over gets added to 9 which gets us 11 so now my units place has become 1 over here and the 1 which is left over gets added to this one which gets us 2 so now 13 cube is equal to 2197 students you can check this using a calci as well now students let's look at a bigger number if we want to find the cube of 52 Again, we will divide our answer in four parts. So now, as you know, my first part will be the cube of the first number. So 5 cube is equal to 125. And my last part will be the cube of the last number. So 2 cube gets us 8. Now for the middle two parts, we need to find out the common multiple. So we will multiply all these three numbers. So 5 into 2 gets us 10 and 10 into 3 gets us 30. Now, for my second part, I'll multiply 30 with the first number that gets us 30 into 5 gets us 150. For my third part, we'll just multiply 30 with the last number that gets us 30 into 2 gets us 60. For my final answer, we'll just concentrate on the units place. So over here, since there is just one digit, we'll just write down 8 straight away. Over here, my units place is 0 and 6 which is left over gets added which gets us 156. Now 6 is my units place, so I will write down 6 over here and 15 gets added to 125 that gets us 140. So now students in this way we have found out the cube of 52 which is nothing but 1,40,608. Now students you must be wondering what we will do in order to find the cube of a 3 digit number. So let us take that. So if we take 10 3 and if we need to find the cube of that so for that we will divide the question into two parts the first part is 10 and the last part is 3 again we will have four parts to my answer so now students 10 is my first number and 3 is my last number so now in order to find my first part we'll find the cube of 10 that is 1000 so you'll just write that and in order to find my last part, we will find cube of 3 that is 27. Now, the common multiple for these two parts would be multiplication of all of these numbers. So, 10 into 3 is 30 and 30 into 3 gets us 90. 
and in order to get the second part we will multiply 90 into 10 that gets us 900 and in order to get the third part we will multiply 90 into 3 that gets us 270. Now students again we will use the same practice of just using our units place. Over here my units place is 7 and 2 which is left over gets added over here. So we get 272 and from that 2 is my units place. So 27 which is left over gets added to 900 we get 927 and from that 7 is my units place and 92 which is left over gets added to 1000 so we get 1092 so now students as you can see you found the cube of such a big number 103 in matter of seconds so in this way you will be able to find cube of any number using this pattern and students like I have always mentioned that in order for any of these patterns to sink in you need to practice them with at least 5 to 6 sums. Also students if you have queries regarding any of the other topics in mathematics then you can please leave them in comment. I will try to make the video about the same. Thank you.